So let us discuss chapter 6 on antigen presentation to T lymphocytes and the function of major histocompatibility complex molecule. So in this topic we are going to discuss about properties of antigen recognized by T lymphocyte, antigen capture and the function of antigen present, presenting cell, general properties of antigen presenting cell, role of dendritic cell in antigen capture and display, function of other antigen presenting cells. We will discuss also the major histocompatibility complex, the discovery of major histocompatibility complex, the major histocompatibility gene, the structure of major histocompatibility complex molecule binding uh, or peptide to MHC molecule. We'll discuss also the process of protein antigens, the classes, the class one MHC pathway for processing and presenting the cyto cytosolic protein, class two MHC pathway for presentation of protein degraded in acid vesicle, physiological significance of MHC associated antigen presentation. Then you will look for the presentation of nanoprotein antigen to T cell. Actually, uh, anticipating to take one, or one hour or so, if we exceed more than one hour or so, we will have to, um, to, to stop and continue another day. So let us start. The principal function of T lymphocytes are to eradicate infection by intracellular, mic by intracellular microbes and to activate other cells such as macrophage and B lymphocyte. The activation and function of T cells have several features that reflect the special properties of these cell types. To initiate immune responses, antigens are captured from the site of entry and concentrated in secondary peripheral lymphoid organs through which naive T cells circulate constantly. Microbes and other antigens most often enter the body through the epithelium lined surface which interfere with external which interface with its external environment. Microbes may also colonize any tissue and antigen may be produced in this tissue. Because of total or because, because the total number of lymphocytes in the body is finity and the immune system generates a large number of lymphocytes, clones each with a different specificity. There are, there are very few naive T and B cells specific for any one antigen in range of 1 to 10 power 5 or 10 power 6 lymphocyte. This small number of naive T cells has to be able to locate and respond to the foreign antigen. It is impossible for few, few T cells specifically uh, for any antigen to constantly patrol all the possible tissue where antigen may enter or be produced. The mechanism that solves this problem is specialized system for capturing an, an antigen from its site of entry or production and bridging, bringing it to secondary lymphoid organ through which the naive T cells circulate. The cell that capture antigen and, high, and display them to uh, T lymphocytes are called the antigen presenting cell, in short, APC. Once helper and cytotoxic effector T cells are produced, they leave the lymphoid organs and migrate to the site of infection and then recognize the same antigen that has been initiate, initiated the response again presented by the cell at this, these sites. Some helper T cells migrate toward the follicle and then recognize the same antigen presented by B cells. This second round of antigen presentation activate the effector function of the T cell so that they, they can eliminate the microbes or activate the B cells. T lymphocytes recognize and respond to cell associated antigen and not to soluble cell free antigen. A principal function of T lymphocyte is to eliminate microbes that survive inside the cells. In addition, T cell and T cell help T cell help B cells produce antibody that kills microbes outside the cell. 
In both cases, the T cells must interact with and act activate other cells such as a macrophage and B lymphocyte. Other T cells kill the virus infected cell and tumor. T cell antigen receptor have evolved to see uh, antigen that are derived from the protein that are inside cell and are displayed by cell surface molecule which ensure that T cell recognize cell associated and not free antigen and interact with other cells. This is in striking contrast to B lymphocyte, whose antigen receptor and, and secreted product antibodies can recognize in, in intact antigen or microbial and host cell surface and soluble cell-free antigen. The task of displaying host cell associated antigen for, recogni for recognition by CD4 and CD8 T cells is performed by a specialized protein called major histocompatibility complex molecule, which are expressed on the surface of host cell. Features of major histocompatibility complex de dependent antigen recognition by T lymphocyte. So, features of antigen recognized by T cell. Most T cells recognize peptide and no other molecules. T cell, uh, first of all, uh, recognize peptide and not other molecule. Explanation is only peptide bind to MHC molecule. T cell recognize linear peptide and not conformational determinants of protein antigen. Explanation, linear peptide bind to cleft of MHC molecule and protein conformation is lost during the uh, degradation of this peptide. T cell recognize cell associated and not cell soluble antigen. Most T cell receptor recognize only peptide MHC complex and MHC molecule uh, membrane protein that display uh, the, st the, 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 stably bond, the stably bond peptide on cell surface. CD4 and CD8 T cell preferentially rec recognize antigen ingested from the extracellular environment into vesicle and the antigen present present in the cytosol respectively. Explanation, the pathway of um, assembly of MHC molecule ensure that class two MHC molecule display a peptide that are, prote are proteolytically degraded in vesicle in antigen presenting cell and class one MHC molecule present peptide from cytosolic protein that are degraded by cytosolic proteinases. So, MSC molecules display antigen from different cellular compartments to different classes of T cell, such that the correct type of T cell recognize the type of microbe that T cell is best at eliminating. For instance, defense against microbes in circulation has, has to be mediated by antibodies, and the production of the most effective antibody require participation of CD for helper T cell. But if the same microbes, a G virus, infect a tissue cell in its cell, it becomes inaccessible to the antibodies. And it is eradication may require that CD8 cytotoxic T cells kill the infected cell and eliminate the reservoir of infection. MHC molecules play a critical role in displaying antigen that are internalized from the outside the cell to CD. 40 lymphocytes and those that are produced inside the cell to CD8 T cells. Elucidation of cell biology and molecular basis of antigen presentation has been an impressive accomplishment based on functional experiment, biochemical analysis, and structural biology. In this chapter, we will describe how antigen are captured and displayed to T cell. In chapter 7, we will describe the antigen receptor of T cell, and in chapter 9, 10, and 11, we will discuss the activation and the effector function of T lymphocyte. Properties of antigen recognized by T lymphocyte. Research on, on the nature of T antigen, T cell antigen recognition, showed an early 
as L as uh, 1960 that physical chemical forms of antigen that are recognized by T cell are different from those recognized by B lymphocytes and antibodies. This knowledge led to the discovery of how antigen are seen by T cell. Several features of antigen recognition are unique to T lymphocyte. You will see them in table 6.1. Uh, Most T lymphocytes recognize only short peptide, whereas the B cell can recognize peptide, intact folded protein, nucleic acid, carbohydrate, lip lipid, and small chemicals. As a result, cell mediated immune cell T. As a result, T-cell-mediated immune response are usually induced by foreign protein antigen, the natural source of foreign peptide, whereas humoral immune response are induced by protein and non-protein antigen. Some T-cells are specific for small chemical substances such as urushol of the poison envy, beta-lactamate of penicillin antibiotic, and even metal ions such as nickel and beryllium. In this situation, it is likely that the chemical binds to self-protein, including MHC molecule, and that T cell recognizes the modified self-peptide or altered MHC molecules. The peptide specific specificity of T cell is true for CD4 and CD8 cell. As we will discuss at the end of this chapter, there are some other small population of T cells that are capable of recognizing non-protein antigen. So you see this diagram, we have T cell contact residue to peptide, we see this the peptide, this is T cell receptor, this polymorphic, polymorphic uh, residue uh, of MHC, we see this is a uh, major histocompatibility complex, the anchor residue of peptide, this is peptide, so it is linear and it is attaching to MHC presented to um, T cell. A mode of T cell recognition of a peptide major compatibility complex. This schematic illustration shows an MHC molecule binding and displaying a peptide and a T cell receptor recognizing the complex peptide and MHC molecule. As discussed later in the text, the MHC, MH, MHC associated peptide contains some residue that anchor them into the pocket in the cleft of the MHC molecule and other residue that is recognized by T cell antigen receptor. MHC residue that may vary among uh, MHC residue that may vary among individual or polymorphics are also recognized by T cell receptors. Thus, T cells see both peptide antigen and MHC molecules. The antigen receptor for CD4 and the CD8 T cells are specific for peptide antigen that are displayed by MHC molecule. The function of MHC molecule is to bind and display a peptide for recognition of CD8, CD4 and CD8 cell, T cell. As we will see in chapter 8, MHC recognition is also required for maturation of these T cell, ensuring that Mature T cells are restricted to recognizing only MHC molecule with bond, bond antigen. MHC molecule can bind, dis, can bind and display peptide and no, no other types of molecule. This is why CD4 and CD8 cell recognize peptide. MHC molecules are highly polymorphic and variation in MHC molecule among individuals influence both peptide binding and T cell recognition. A single T cell can recognize a specific peptide displayed by only one of the larger number of different MHC molecules that exist. This phenomenon is called MHC restriction. And we will describe its molecule basis later in this chapter. There are two classes of, of MHC molecule that is called class one and class two. CD4 T cells recognize peptide displayed by class 2 MHC and CD8 T cell recognize peptide displayed by class 1. The underlying mechanism and functional and functional importance of this separation are discussed later. So we have this is antigen uptake by dendritic cell. It is antigen presentation to us uh, to, to naive T cells and then a response is seen. Macrophage as well can do the same, get the effector, then kill the, uh, the, the, kill the bacteria happen. B cell can do the same. Therefore, dendritic cell, macrophage, B cells, 
they are antigen presenting cell as well. So in dendritic cell, when in contact with a, a, a naive T cell, naive T cell activation, clonal expansion, and differentiation into effector cells. Then again, effector T cell activation, activation of macrophage cell mediated immunity. Here, uh, effect, effector T cell activation, B cell activation, and the antibody production. So there will be two effects here. Because B cell can produce antibody, it is also activated and T cell is activated. Both they are activated. Function of different antigen uh, presenting cell. The three major types of antigen presenting cell of for CD4 T cell function is to, do, is to display at different stages and in different types of immune response. Note that effect T cell activate macrophage and B lymphocyte by producing by production of cytokine and by expressing a surface molecule. This will be addressed the, described in, in, in later chapters. We will start our discussion of antigen presentation by describing how antigen presenting capture antigen and transport them to T cell. Antigen capture and the function of antigen presenting cells. The realization that various cell other than T cell are needed to present antigen to T lymphocyte first came from studies in which protein antigen that were known to elicit T cell response were labeled and injected into mice to determine which cell bound and by implication recognize these antigens. The result was that the injected antigen were associated mainly with the non-lymphoid cells which were a surprise because it was not known that lymphocytes were the cell that specifically recognized and responded to foreign antigen. This type of experiment was quickly followed by studies showing that the protein antigen that were physically associated with the macrophage were much more immunogenic on, the mol in, on, on a molar basis than the same antigen injected in mice in soluble form. In this L experiment, the macrophage population studied may have contained dendritic cell because as we will, we will discuss in the following section, Naive T cells are best activated by antigen presenting by dendritic cell. Subsequent cell culture experiments showed that purified CD4 T cell could not respond to protein antigen, but they, uh, but they responded very well if non T cells such as dendritic cell or macrophage were added to culture. This result led to the concept that a critical step in induction of T cell response is the representation of the antigen to T lymphocyte by other cell, which were named as antigen presenting cell, APC. The first antigen, ident antigen presenting cell identified were macrophage and the responding T cell were CD4 helper cell. It is, it is soon become clear that several cell populations can function as antigen pre presenting cell in different situations. By conversion, antigen presenting is still the term used to refer a specialized cell that display antigen to CD4 T lymphocyte. As we will see later in this chapter, all nucleated cells can display a peptide antigen to CD8 T lymphocyte, but they are not all called antigen presenting cell. General properties of antigen presenting cell. Different cell types function as antigen presenting cell to activate the naive T cell or previously differentiated effector T cell. The dendritic cell are the most effective antigen presenting cell for activating naive T cell and therefore for initiating T response. Macrophage and B lymphocytes also function as antigen presenting cell, but mostly for previously activated CD4 helper T cell rather than the naive T cell. The role of antigen presenting cell are described later in this chapter and in more detail in chapter 10 and chapter uh, 12. Dendritic cell, macrophage and B lymphocyte expresses class two MHC molecules and therefore capable of activating CD4 T lymphocyte. For this reason, these three cell types have been called professional antigen presenting cell. However, this term is sometimes used to refer only 
to dendritic cell because of their unique role in naive T cell activation. Let us see the properties and function of antigen presenting cell. So uh, we have the cell, that's the expression, what they, do they express, the class 2 major histocompatibility complex, co-stimulators and principal function. Dendritic cell, this is the cell type, and uh, what they express, it consists of increased increases with the maturation increased by interferon by interferon uh, gamma and T cell this is CD40 ligand ligands and CD40 interaction costimulator constitutive expressed is increased with toll like receptor signal interferon gamma CD40 and CD40 ligands interaction what are the main principal function of the dendritic cell the antigen presenting presentation to the naive cells is initiate initiation of T cell response to protein antigens priming. Macrophagy has low or negative increased by interferon gamma and tumor and T cells, the CD4 ligand, 40 ligands and 40 interaction. Expression is increased by toll like receptor signal, interferon gamma, CD40 and 40 ligand interaction as co-stimulators. And the main function is antigen presentation to effect a CD4 T cell in effect a phase of the cell mediated immune response, the T cell enhanced. B lymphocyte constitutive increased by constitutive increased by interleukin 4 antigen receptor cross linked to T cell, the CD40 ligands and 40 interaction. Expression is increased by T cell CD40 as 40 ligand interaction antigen receptor cross-linking as well. The main function is uh, antigen presentation to CD4 helper T cell in humoral immune response, helper, helper T cell B cell interaction. Vascular endothelial uh, cells, these induced by interferon gamma constituted in the subhuman blood vessel, low and maybe it is inducible, the co-stimulator. The main function is to may promote activation of antigen-specific uh, antigen T cell at site of antigen exposure and in organ graft. We have thermic epithelial cells. They are constitutive, probably none for costimulator. The main function is positive and negative selection of developing, uh, of developing uh, actually developing CD4 T cell. Various epithelial uh, and meth 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 methenchymal cells, they are induced by interferon gamma, probably none for costimulators. The main function, not known. Physiological function, possible role is inflammatory disease. So let us continue. Antigen presenting, uh, antigen presenting cell display a peptide MHC complex for a recognition by T cell and also provide additional stimuli that are required for cell full response of T cell. Antigen is the first signal and these additional stimuli are sometimes called second signal. They are more important for activation of naive T cell than for the stimulation of previously activated effector and memory cell. The membrane bound molecules of antigen presenting cells that function together with the antigen to stimulate T cell are called the co-stimulator. Antigen presenting cells also secrete cytokine that play a critical role in the differentiation of naive T cell into effector cell. These costimulators and cytokines are described in chapter 9 and chapter 10. The antigen presenting functions, <coughs> presenting function of antigen presenting cell is enhanced by exposure to microbial product. This is one reason that the immune system responds respond better to microbes than to harmless or non-microbial substance. Dendritic cell and macrophage expresses toll-like receptor and other innate immune microbial sensor, seen already in chapter 4, and respond to the microbes by increasing the expression of MHC molecule on costimulator, by improving the efficient of antigen presentation and by activating the antigen presenting cell to produce cytokines, all of which help to stimulate T cell responses. In addition, dendritic cells that are activated by microbes expresses a chemokine, that, a chemokine receptor that facilitates their migration to site where naive T cells are present. 
the induction of optimal T cell response to purified protein antigen in the absence of infection require that the antigen to be administered with substance called adjuvant. Adju adjuvant either um, a product of microbes or such as killed mycobacteria used experimentally or substance that elicits the innate immune response like microbe do and thus enhance the uh, expression of costimulator and cytokines and also stimulate the antigen presenting function of antigen presenting cells. Adjuvants are routinely used in animal studies of immune response and in, in human vaccine. Antigen presenting cells that present antigen to T cell also receive a signal back from the, this lymphocyte that enhance the antigen presenting function of the antigen presenting cell. In particular, <clears throat> CD4 T cell that are activated by antigen recognition and costimulation expression surface molecule, notably one called CD4 lig forty ligand CD154, which bind to CD4 on the dendritic cell and macrophage, and the T cell also secrete cytokines such as interferon gamma that bind to the receptor on this antigen presenting cell. <clears throat> the combination of CD4 signal and cytokine activate the antigen presenting cell, resulting in an increased ability to process and present antigen, increase the expression of costimulator, costimulators and secretion of cytokine that activate the T cells. This bidirection interaction between antigen presenting cell displaying the antigen and T lymphocyte that recognize the antigen function as a positive feedback loop that play an important role in maximizing the immune response. We'll see more in chapter 9. <clears throat> Role of dendritic cell in antigen capture and display. Microbes and protein antigen that enter through epithelial are concentrated in lymph nodes, and the blood borne antigen are captured mostly in spleen. The common route through which foreign antigens such as microbes and other enter the host are the skin and epithelial. Uh, of the gastrointestinal and respiratory system. In addition, microbial antigen may be produced in any tissue that has been colonized or infected by microbes. The skin mucosa, skin, mucosa epithelial and the parenchyma organ contain numerous lymphatic capillaries that drain lymph from this site and into uh, regional lymph nodes. Some of antigen are transported in lymph by antigen presenting cell, primarily dendritic cell, that capture the antigen and enter the lymphatic vessel, and the other antigen enter the lymphatic in cell free form. Thus, the lymph contains a sampling of all soluble and cell associated antigen that enter through the epithelial and are present in tissue. The antigen becomes concentrated in lymph nodes, which are in in interposed along lymphatic vessel and act as filter that is sample the lymph node before uh, it reaches the blood. Antigen that enter the blood stream may be sampled by antigen presenting cell that reside in the spleen or captured by circulating dendritic cell and taken to the spleen. So you see these are the main places whereby antigen, anti antigen are detected, the skin, the gastrointestinal epithelial, the respiratory, also sometimes they also speak about the, about the uh, genital urinary system. But you see uh, microbes come in cell-free antigen. It is there's dendritic cell associated with antigen. Antigen that enter the bloodstream has to go to the circulation. Sometimes it's taken by uh, taken by taken by a uh, spleen uh, if it's freely circulating or it is taken by the dendritic cell which is circulating. Most of them they are if they are coming from epithelial they are taken by lymphatic vessel then they are taken back to the lymph node whereby they will meet the they will meet the 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 T cell the naive T cell. This is lymph node contain collect antigen from epithelial co connective tissue. This is blood borne antigen captured by antigen presenting cell in the spleen. <clears throat> so dendritic cell are are the cell that are best able to capture and transport the antigen for presentation to naive T cell. Dendritic cell were introduced in chapter two. And their main fun and their, their function as tissue resident sentinel that recognize microbes and trigger innate immune reaction we are discussed in chapter four. Here we will describe the role of these cells in antigen presenting presentation to T lymphocytes. 
Then these cells are divided into several subsets based on the phenotypes and function. There is conventional or classical dendritic cell, the CDS, are present in most epithelial that inter interface with their external environment, such as a skin and intestinal and respiratory tract, and in the tissue, and they are enriched in lymph lymphoid organ. They are the dendritic cell, are they are the dendritic cell subset that capture antigen and transport them to the secondary lymphoid organ and are thus involved in antigen presentation to naive CD4 and CD8 T cells. Conventional dendritic cells are divided in two groups. There is type 1 conventional dendritic cell. These are especially efficient in transferring ingested antigen from vesicle into cytosol. As we will discuss later, this is an essential step in the process of cross-presentation in which ingested antigens are presented on class 1, MHC molecule to CD8 T cells. Type 2 dendritic cell, conventional dendritic cell, are the major dendritic cell subset that present captured antigen to CD4 T cell, and thus the subset that is most important for initiating response of these T cells. We have plasma cytoid dendritic cell. These are P dendritic cell. They are they are the body, body's major source of type 1 interferons and thus essential for innate immune response to virus. The plasmocyte cytoid dendritic cell also may capture antigen in the blood and transport them to the spleen. There is monocyte derived dendritic cell, more dendritic cell, can be induced to develop from monocyte and inflammatory condition. Their role in immune res response are not clear. Lag hand cells of the epidemic were the one of the earliest dendritic cells identified. These cells are related to the tissue resident macrophage and develop early in life from progenitor in the yolk sac and fetal li liver and seed the skin. The fun their function is probably similar to that of conventional dendritic <coughs> cell. Dendritic cell that are <coughs> resident in epithelial and tissue and tissue capture protein antigens. Tissue resident and conventional dendritic cell expresses numerous membrane receptors such as C-type lectin that bind microbes. The dendritic cell uses these receptors to capture and endocytes, microbes and or microbial protein, and then process the inter ingested protein into peptide capable of binding to MHC molecule. In addition to receptor-mediated endocytosis and phagocytosis, the dendritic cell can ingest the antigen by pycnocytosis, a process that does not involve specific recognition receptor, but serve to internalize the whatever molecule might be in the fluid phase in the vicinity of the dendritic cell. Simultaneously with, an, with antigen capture, the dendritic cells are activated by microbial product to mature into antigen-presenting cell that transport the captured antigens to draining lymph nodes. At the time that microbial antigens are being captured, microbial product, this is pathogens associated the molecule pattern, pumps, different from the protein antigen that T cell recognize are recognized by toll-like receptor and other innate pattern recognition receptor in the dendritic cell and other cell generating innate immune response. See chapter 4. The dendritic cell are activated by this signal and by cytokines such as tumor necrosis factor produced in response to microbes. The activated dendritic cell, also called mature dendritic cell, lose their adhesiveness for epithelial uh, or tissue and begin to express a chemokine receptor called CCR7. That is specific for two chemokines, the, CCR, the CCL19, CCL21, that are produced in lymphatic vessel and in the T cell zones of lymph nodes. These chemokines attract the dendritic cell bearing microbial antigen into draining lymph node and ultimately into T cells zone of the regional lymph nodes. Naive T cells also expresses CCR7 and this is why they localize to the same region of lymph node uh, where antigen bearing dendritic cell are concentrated. Although they are root they Although their route into the lymph node is, is, is via blood, 
colonization of antigen bearing and activated dendritic cell and naive T cell maximize the chance of T cell with receptor for antigen finding that antigen. <clears throat> We continue. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry. So, antigen capture of dendritic cell, then activated dendritic cell. The activated migration, this migration, this activated dendritic cell migrate to lymphatic tissue resident dendritic cell epidemics. As we are told that it loses some of the characteristics, whereby the adhesion, adhesion is lost. Then it has now the CCR7. Uh, which is most important for it to move uh, to activated lymph uh, to the lymph node. So activated dendritic cell presenting antigen to naive T cell, as you see, T zones. So the principal function of a T cell activation, the antigen capture, expression of MSC, those are the principal things that you have to remember. So activation also converts dendritic cell from cell whose primary function is to capture antigen into cell that are able to present antigen to naive T cell and activate lymphocyte. Activated dendritic cell expresses a high level of MHC molecule with bond, peptide, and costimulator required for T cell activation. Thus, by the time cell, uh, by the time these cells arrive to the, in the lymph nodes, they they have developed into potent antigen presenting cell with ability to activate T lymphocytes. Naive T cells that uh, recirculate through lymph nodes encounter these antigen presenting cell, and T cells that are specific for displayed peptide MHC complex are activated. This is the initial step in the induction of T cell response to protein antigen. In the absence of infection or inflammation, conventional dendritic cell capture antigen in the tissue but are not activated to produce the high level of cytokine and costimulator that are required to induce effective immune response. The function of this dendritic cell may be, may be to present self-antigen self-reactive T cell and thereby cause inactivation or death of T cell or generate regulatory T cell. This mechanism play a role in maintaining self tolerance and pre preventing autoimmunity. Antigen are also transported to lymphoid organs in soluble form. Resident dendritic cell in lymph nodes and spleen may capture lymph node, lymph may capture lymph and blood borne antigen respectively, and also may be driven to mature by microbial product. When lymph, lymph enter the lymph nodes through, the, through an afferent lymph, lymphatic vessel, it drains into the sub, subscapsular sinuses and some of the lymph enters the fibroblastic reticular cells, the FRC con, condu, conduit that originate from the sinus and transfer the cortex. See the chapter 2. Once in conduit, low molecular weight antigen can be extraverted by dendritic cell that line the outside surface of conduit and whose process is integrated between the uh, FRC. Other antigen in the subsubsular sinuses, sinuses are taken up by macrophage, which carry the antigen into follicle and present these antigen to the resident B cells. B cell in the node may also recognize and internalize soluble antigen. The collection and concentration of foreign antigen in lymph nodes are supplemented by other anatomic adaptations that serve similar function. The mucosa surface of the GI and respiratory system, in addition to being drained by lymphatic capillaries, contain specialized collection of secondary lymphoid tissue that can directly sample the luminal content of these organs for the presence of antigen of antigenic material. The best characteristics of these mucosa lining lymphoid are pear patches of ileum and the pharyngeal tonsils. Antigen presenting cell in spleen monitor the blood stream for any antigen that reach the circulation. Such antigen may breach the blood either directly from the tissue or by the way of the lymph from the thoracic duct. Several properties of conventional dendritic cell make them the most efficient antigen presenting cell for initiating the primary T lymph or T cell response.
The disk cell are strategically located at common site of entry of microbes and foreign antigen. This is characteristic number one. And in tissue that may be colonized by microbes. Number two, the dendritic cell expresses this receptor that enable them to capture and respond to microbes. Number three, in response to chemokines, activated dendritic cell migrate from epithelial and tissue via lymphatic or preferentially into the T zones of these lymph nodes and naive T lymphocytes also circulate through the same region of lymph nodes. Mature dendritic cell, that is characteristic number, uh, number four, the mature dendritic cell expresses a high level of peptide MHC complex, costimulator, and cytokines, all of which are needed to activate naive T lymphocyte. Specialized dendritic cell, the, the, the conventional dendritic cell, can transfer internalized protein from phago phagosomes into a cytosol and are thus efficient at cross-presentation anti cross -pre cross cross antigen to CD8 T cell, as we will see later. This process is essential for initiating CD80 T cell response to many viruses and tumor. Function of other antigen presenting cell. Although the dendritic cell have critical role in uh, initiating the primary T cell response, other cells types are also important antigen presenting cell in different situation. In cell mediated immune response, macrophage present antigen of phagocytosized, phagocytosized microbes to effect a T cell, which respond by activating macrophage to kill the ingested microbes. This process is central to cell mediated immunity. Circulating monocytes are, also, are, are able to migrate to site of infection and inflammation, where they differentiate into macrophage and phagos, phagos, phagocytos phagocytos the microbes as period of destruction. Tissue resident macrophage serve the same function. CD4 T cells recognize microbial antigen being presented by macrophage and provide a signal that enhance micro, micro, microcido activity of this macrophage. The requirement for specific antigen recognition means that T cell activate, activate only macrophage containing the microbe that, in, that is the source of antigen. In human immune response, B lymphocyte internalize protein antigen and present peptide derived from this protein to help a T cell. This antigen presenting function of B cell is essential for help a T cell dependent antibody production and for maintaining specificity in humoral immune response. All nucleated cell can present peptide derived from cytosolic proteins antigen to CD, CD8. Cytotoxic, cyto, uh, cytotoxic lymphoid cell. All nucleated cells are susceptible to viral infection and cancers causing mutation. Therefore, it is important that the immune system able, be able to recognize cytosolic antigen, such as viral antigen and mutated protein. In any cell type, CD8 cytotoxic T cells are the cell populations that recognize this antigen and eliminate the cells in which the antigen are produced. CD8 T cells, cytotoxic T cells, may also recognize phagocytos the microbes if they, these microbes or their antigen escape from phagocytic vesicle into the cytosol. Other cell types that express the uh, classes 2 MHC molecule and may present antigen to T cell include endothelial and some epithelial cells. Vascular endothelial cell may present antigen to blood T cell that are adhere to, 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 to vessel walls, but the role of this process is cell mediated immune reaction, reaction uh, in cell mediated immune reaction is unclear. Endothelial cell in graft also, uh, also a target for T cell reacting an, an, against graft antigen. See chapter 17. Various epithelial and mesenchymal cells may express as class 2 MHC molecule in response to cytokine inter, inter, uh, interferon gamma. The physiological significance of antigen presentation by this cell population is not established because most of them do not express costimulator and are not efficient at presenting protein into MHC uh, binding peptide. It is unlikely that 
they contribute significantly to the majority of T cell response. Thermic epithelial cells constitutively express MHC molecules and they play a critical role in presenting peptide MHC complex to maturing T cell in thermos as part of selection process that shape the repertoire of T cell specificity. See in chapter 8. Now that we have described the function of antigen presenting cell and how antigens are captured from environment and taken to lymphoid organ, we turn to mechanism of antigen display and especially the role of MHC molecule in this process. The major histocompatibility complex. This, the discovery of the role of major histocompatibility complex in antigen recognition by CD4 and CD8 T cell has been fundamental to our current understanding of uh, the activation and the function of lymphocyte. The major histocompatibility complex was discovered from the studies of tissue transplantation in mice, and it is, was many years later that the structure and function of MHC molecule were elucidated. Discovery of MHC. The mice MHC H2 complex, it was known from at the early days of transplantation that tissue such as skin exchanged between non-identical individual are rejected, where the same graft between identical twins are accepted. This result showed that tissue rejection is genetically determined process. Early in the 20th century, inbred mouse strain was created by repetitive mating of sibling. Inbred mice are homozygous homo, 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 homo at every genetic locus. They have two copies of the same allele of every gene, one from each parent. And every mouse of an inbred strain is genetically identical, synergenic, syne, to every other mouse of same strain, if they, they all express the same allele. Different strain may express different allele and are said to, to be allogenic to one another. In the 1940s, George Snell and colleague created a substrain of inbred mice called congenic mice that were identical at all look except one on the chromosome 17. This difference allowed one congenic strain with a specific allele on chromosome 17 to reject a graft from another strain that had a different allele at this locus, but was otherwise genetically identical. Because this allelic locus determined the compatibility of tissue graft among different strains, it was called a major histocompatibility loc locus, histotissue. The particular, particular locus that was identified in mice contained a gene encoding a blood group antigen called antigen 2, and therefore this region was named histocompatibility 2 simply H2. Initially, this locus was thought to contain a single gene that was controlled tissue compatibility. However, occasional recombination, ev recombination event occur within H2 locus during interbreed of different strain, indicating that actually containing several different but closely linked genes, many of which were involved in graft rejection. The genetic region that controlled the graft rejection and contained several linked genes was named as major histocompatibility complex. Although not known at the time of initial experiment, transplant rejection is the large part of T cell mediated process. We will see it in chapter 17. And therefore, it is not surprising that there is a relationship between graft rejection and MHC gene which encode the peptide binding MHC molecule that T cell recognize. The human MHC, human leukocyte antigen locus. The human um, MHC was discovered by searching for cell surface molecules in one individual that would be recognized as foreign by another individual. This task became feasible when it was discovered that individual who had received multiple blood transfusion at patient who had and patient who had received the kidney transplant 
had antibody that recognized cell from a blood or kidney donor and that multiple multiparous women had circulating antibody that recognized paternal cells the protein recognized by these antibody were called human leukocyte antigen leukocyte because antigen antibody were tested by binding to leukocytes of other individual and antigens because of molecule were recognized by antibodies subsequent analysis showed that as in mice the inherent the inheritance of gene H, human leukocyte antigen allele encoding particular hla antigen is the major determinant of graft acceptance or rejection biochemical studies gave a satisfying result that the that protein encoding in mouse hl2 blockers and hla protein identified in human had very similar basic structure from this result came the conclusion that gene that determine the fate of grafted tissue are present in all mammalian species and are homologous to h2 gene with ident which uh, first identified mice these are called mhc gene other polymorphic polymorphic gene that contribute to the graft rejection to lesser degree are called the minor histocompatibility genes we will return to this in chapter 17 when we will discuss transplantation immunology immune response gene for almost 20 years after the mhc was discovered it its only documented role was in graft rejection this was puzzle in immunologist yeah, to immunologist because transplantation is not a natural phenomena and there were there was no reason that that a set of genes could be pre preserved through evolution if they if the only function of the gene was to stimulate rejection of foreign tissue graft in 1960s and 70s it was discovered that mhc gene are fundamental impo are fundamental importance for all immune response to protein antigen but baruju benakaf hug mc david and colleague found that inbred strain of single species the guinea pig and mice different in their ability to make antibody against some simple synthetic polypeptide and the responses was inherited as dominant mendelian trait the relevant gene were called immune response gene and they were allo allo well, they were located in mhc we now know that ar genes are in fact a class 2 mhc gene that encode class 2 mhc molecule that define the ability to bind and display peptide derived from various protein antigen responder <coughs> strain which can mount immune response to a particular pulp polypeptide antigens in health mhc molecules whose the product can bind peptide derived from this antigen forming a peptide mhc complex that can be recognized by helper t cell these t cell then help b cell to produce antibodies non responder strain expresses mhc molecule that are not capable of binding peptide derived from the polypeptide antigen and therefore this strain cannot generate generate helper T cell or antibody specific for antigen. It was also later found that many autoimmune diseases were associated with the inheritance of particular MHC allele. Fimbly placed this gene at the center of mechanism that control immune response. Such studies provided the impactors for more detailed analysis of MHC genes and protein. The phenomena of um, MHC restriction. The formal proof that MHC is involved in antigen recognition by T cell came from experimental demonstration of MHC restriction by Rolf Zinkang Nagel and Peter Dohert. In their classic study reported in 1974, this investigator examined the recognition of virus, uh, virus infected cell by virus specific cytotoxic T cell lymphocyte in bred mice. If a mouse is infected with a virus, CD, <coughs> CD8 T cells specific for virus are activated and differentiated into cytotoxic T cell in the animal. When function of these cytotoxic cells is analyzed in vitro, they recognize and kill virus infected cell only if the infected cell expresses the MHC molecule that 
are expressed in the animal from which the cytotoxic cell were obtained. Thus, T cell must be specific not only for antigen but also for MHC molecule. And T cell antigen recognition is restricted by MHC molecule as T cell Cs. Subsequent studies establish that the, that the recognition of antigen by CD8 cytotoxic T cell is restricted by class 1 molecules, and the res, response of CD4 help T lymphocyte is T lymphocyte to antigen are restricted to class 2 molecules. We will continue our discussion of major histocompatibility. Uh, complex by describing the properties of the genes and then proteins and we will conclude the, by describing how these pro, pro, proteins bind and display a foreign antigen. Major histocompatibility genes. The major histocompatibility locus contain two types of polymorphic MHC gene, the class 1 and class 2 MHC gene which encode two groups of structurally distinct but homologous protein and other non-polymorphic gene whose products are involved in antigen presentation. Polymorphism refers to variation in gene among individuals in an outbred, outbred population. The class 1 and class 2 MHC molecules are the ones whose function is to display peptide antigen for recognition by CD4 8 and CD4 T cell, respectively. The non-polymorphic molecules encoded in MHC do not present peptide T cells. So um, this is an experimental demonstration of phenomena of major histocompatibility complex uh, restriction of T lymphocyte virus space. So what happened? Let us try to see. Infect strain A mounts with a lymphocytic choriomeningitis virus. Then it was infected. Then um, strain A and strain B. So uh, infect the target cell. The target cells. Then the target cell. Then what happened? Uh, this seven days, the 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 lymphocyte choreo, choreomeningitis virus specific cytotoxic cells. We are seeing, you see here, then a uh, target cell here and strains the LMC peptide where then cytotoxic assay culture, co culture CTL and target cell and measure the lysis of the target cell. So uh, here we get a lot of things. There are strains of A, CTL, target cell from different strains. They were combined together. Then strain LV is infected. The the, then you get yes. Then it's strain B again, infected, but no. So this experiment was there to demonstrate the phenomena of major histocompatibility complex restriction to T lymphocyte virus specific cytotoxic T lymphocyte generated from virus infected strain A mice kill only synergetic strain A target cell infected with that virus. The cytotoxic cyt uh, cytotoxic T cell lymphocyte do not kill infected strain B target, which expresses different MHC allele than does the strain A. By the use of congenic mouse strain that differs only at class 1 MHC lock, it has been proved that recognition of antigen by CD8 is self class 1 MHC restricted. Different human class of HL uh, of class of uh, class one HLA molecule were first distinguished by serological approach antibody binding. Different class two MHC molecule were identified by use of assay in which T cell from one individual will be activated by cell of another individual called a mixed lymphocyte reaction. Currently, DNA sequencing is used to distinguish different MHC allele and their encoded proteins. Class one and class Two MHC genes are the most polymorphic genes present in any mammalian genome. A remarkable feature to, uh, to emerge from the studies of human MHC gene is the unexpected extent of polymorphism. In the population, the total number of HLI allele with different amino acid sequence is estimated to be 14,000 uh, 14, with more than 3,000 variant for HLI-B locus alone. 
the variation in MSC molecule accounting for polymorphism resulting from inheritance of distinct DNA sequence and are not induced by gene recombinant. They are in antigenic receptor. We'll see chapter 8. Because the product of different MSC allele bind and display different peptide, different individual in a population may present differently, may present different peptide even from the same protein antigen. The high degree of polymorphism of MSC help provide protection of mammalian population from virtually an unlimited diversity of microbes and therefore prevent the loss of entire population from emerging infection. In, the, in other words, because of pre preservations of large number of different MSC molecules in the population, there will be almost always be individual able to pre present peptide from almost any microbes to their T cells. The evolution of new MSC allele is an ongoing process. It occurs by a mechanism called gene convention, which involves the copying of nucleotide sequence from one allele to another during meiosis. The selective pressure that drive this process have, have preserved such a vast number of allele in the population are not uh, a vast number of allele in the population are not understood. The mechanism are not understood. So uh, this is just a schematic um, elaboration. This is class two. And we see locals. So you can read and get the more description. But this is how it appears in mouth and actually in human. You see complementary proteins B, C2, C4, LT, tumor crossing factor. So the schematic map of human and mouse major histocompatibility complex lock. The basic organization of the genes in the MHC locus is similar in human and mice. Size of the gene and the intervening DNA segment are not shown to scale. Class 2 lock are shown as single block, but each locus consists of several genes. HLA in human leukocyte antigen, LT, lymphotoxin, TAP transporter associated with the antigen processing, Tumor necrosing factor, tumor necrosing factor, all these are things that are there that they can work together. MSC genes are codominantly expressed in each individual. In other words, for a given MHC gene, each individual expresses the allele that are inherited from both parents. For individual, for the individual, this is this maximizes the number of MHC molecules available to bind peptide for presentation to T cell. Human and, and mouse MHC gene lock. In human, the MHC is located on short arm of chromosome 6 and occupies large segment of DNA, extending, extending about 3,500 3, kilobase KB. In classical genetic term, the MHC lockers extend about 4 centimorgan, meaning that Crossover within MHC mo molecule occur in about 4% meiosis. A molecular map of human MHC is shown in figure 6.7. There are three classes of MHC, a uh, class 1 MHC gene called HLAA, HLAB, HLAC, which encode three ty types of class 1 MHC molecule with the same names. There are three classes of a class a class 2 HLA gene lock called HLA DP, HLA DQ, HLA DR. Each class 2 MHC molecule is composed of heterodimer of alpha and beta polypeptide. The, H, the D, DP, the DQ, and DR lock on each chromosome contains separate genes designed A and B, encoding the alpha and beta chain respectively. Every individual has two HLA DP genes called DPA1, DP, DPA1, DPB1, two HLA HDQ alpha genes, HDQA and two, one HLA DQ genes, DQB1, one HLA DR alpha gene, DRA1, and, and one or two HLA DR beta genes. D R beta 1 and D D R beta 3, 4, and 5. The nomenclature of HLA 
locus takes into account the enormous polymorphism identified by serological and molecular method. Thus, based on the modern molecular typing, individual allele may be called HLA1, the star 0, 2, 1, reference to one subtype, HLA2, HLA, DRB1, or 0, 4, 1, referring to 0, subtype of, of DR4B1 gene and so on. Mouth, the mouse, the mouse are a major histocompatibility complex located on chromosome 17, not in 6 as in human, occupy about 2,000 kilobase of DNA, not 3,000, and are organized in uh, out of slightly different from those in human. One of the mouse class genes is centromeric to the class 2 region but other classes 1 gene are teromeric to the class 1 class 2 region there are three mouse class class 1 mhc gene called h2k h2d h2l encoding three different classes 1 mhc protein k d and l these genes are homologous to human hla b and c genes the MHC allele of particular inbred strain of the mice are designed by lowercase letter A and B, named for the whole set of MHC genes for the mouse strain in which they were first identified. In the palace of the mouse gen genetist, the allele of H2 gene in, the, in a strain with K type MHC is called K, KK, pro pronounced as K of K whereas the allele of H2K gene in the strain with D type, MHC is called KD, K of D. Similar terminology is used for HL, H2D, H2L allele. Mice have two class of, uh, class, mice have two class two MHC lock called I, I1 and IE, which encode I, I1 and IE molecule respectively. These lock are IR gene discussed earlier. The mouth class 2 genes are homologous to human HLA, DP, DQ, DR genes. The HLA allele found in inbred mouse strain uh, strain with the K, kappa of kappa, K of K and DK, K of D allele called IAK, pronounced as IA of K. Similar terminology is used for IE allele. As in immune, as in human, there are actually two different genes designed for A and B in AI and IE lock that encode the encode the alpha and beta chains of each class two MHC molecules. The set of MHC molecule MHC molecule allele present at on each chromosome is called MHC haplotype. For instance. An HLA haplotype of individual could be HLA A24, B37, uh, C3, DRB12, DRB1, DQB3, and so on, using the simpler nomenclature of HLA, HLA allele. All heterozygous individuals, of course, have two allele haplot hapl haplotypes. In breed mice being homologous have single haplotype. Thus the haplotype of 2, 2D mouse in is 2H2K, II, EI, and L. The MHC genes are tightly linked so that haploid are inherited on N block. And individual will usually express all of the MHC allele in two haplotypes inherited from their parents. This is schematic drawing again. The map of human histocompatibility complex, the gene located within human MC locus are illustrated in addition to class 1 and class 2. So the HLIE, HLIF, HLIG, and MIC gene encode class 2 like molecule, many of which are recognized by natural killer cell. C4, C3, ATHIF2, and factor B are complement proteins. TAPSEN, DM, and DO, TAP and protest is subunit are uh, pro proteins involved in antigen processing discussed later in the chapter. LTX, LTB, 
uh, beta L, uh, tumor necrosis factor are cytokine, many of pseudo genes of gene whose role in immune response are not established are located in HLA complex but not shown in simply, simply, simply the map. HLA human leukocyte antigen leukocyte top plus protein with RCA processing tumor necrosis factor, those are just the abbreviation. Expression of MSC molecule. Because MSC molecules are required to present antigen to T lymphocyte, the expression of this protein in cell are determine whether foreign AG microbial antigen in that cell will be recognized by T cell. There are several important features of expression of MSC molecule that contribute to their role in protecting individual from different microbial infection. Class 1 MOC molecules are expressed on virtually all nucleated cells, whereas class 2 MOC molecules are expressed only on dendritic cell B lymphocytes and mac macrophage thermic epithelia cells and few other cell types. This pattern of MOC expression is linked to the function of class 1 restricted CDH. 8 CD8 uh, and class 2 restricted CD40 cell. As discussed earlier, CD8 cytotoxic lymphocyte kills cell infected with intracellular microbes such as virus and as well as tumor that express tumor antigen and any nucleated cell that harbor that can harbor a virus and develop into cancer. Thus, the expression of class 1 molecule, a uh, class 1 IMOC molecules on nucleated cell provide a display system for viral and tumor antigens so this antigen can be recognized by CTL and the antigen producing cell can be killed. In contrast, class 2 restricted CD4 helper T lymphocytes have a set of functions that require recognizing antigen presented, presented by more limited number of cell types and class 2 MOC molecules are expressed mainly in these cell types differentiated CD4 plus helper T cell lymphocyte function mainly to activate help macrophage to eliminate extracellular microbes that have been phagoc phagocytosed and help B lymphocyte make antibody that also eliminate extracellular microbes. In order to initiate the immune response, naive CD4 and CD2 8 T cell need to be recognized antigen that are captured and represented by the dendritic cell in lymphoid organ, which expresses both class 1 and class 2 MHC molecule. Thermic epithelial cell is also, also expresses both class 1 and class 2 molecules. An antigen displayed by this cell is important in the process of selection of maturation, mature, maturing T lymphocyte. The expression of MSC molecule is increased by cytokine produced during both innate and adaptive immune response. Although class 1 MSC molecules are constitutively expressed on nucleated cell, the expression is increased by type by the type of one by type 1 interferons, interferon alpha, interferon beta, which are produced during early innate immune response to many viruses. Thus, innate immune response to virus increases the expression of MHC molecule that display viral antigen to virus, uh, virus specific T cell. This, this is one of the mechanism by which innate immunity stimulates adaptive immune response. The expression of class 1 molecule is also increased by interferon gamma. So this is schematic again, the, the drawing, you see the production interferon gamma cytokine mediated class 2 class 2 MHC expression expression on uh, antigen presenting cell enhanced antigen presentation enhanced T response so microbes are here natural killer cell can kill it antigen presenting cells uh, CD4 T cells help this one with uh, with this MHC then what happened resting antigen present low MHC expression activated antigen presenting cell, high MC expression. So after that it is joined to CD4 and these are differentiated. CD4, CD8, they are differentiated. So with expression enhanced, enhancement of class 2 major histocompatibility 
complex molecule expressed by interferon gamma. Interferon gamma produced by natural killer cell and other cell types during innate immune reaction to microbes or by cell during an adaptive immune reaction. Stimulate a class 2 expression on the antigen presenting cell and thus enhances the activation of CD4 T cells. Interferon gamma and type 1 interferons have similar effect on the expression uh, of class 1 MHC molecule and the activation of CD HT cells. Antigen presenting cell uh, the antigen presenting cell AF1 is interferon and is natural killer cell. The expression of class 2 MHC molecule is regulated by cytokine and other signal in different cells. Interferon gamma is a principal cytokine involved in stimulating expression of class 1 molecule in A antigen presenting cells such as dendritic cell and macrophage. Interferon gamma may be may be produced by natural killer cell, cell during early innate immune reaction and by antigen activated T cell during later adaptive immune response reaction. Thus, the ability of interferon to increase class 2 uh, MHC expression provide a mechanism by which innate immune response immune promote the adaptive immunity and also an amplification of mechanism in adaptive immunity. B lymphocyte constitutively expresses class 2 molecules and can increase the expression in response to antigen recognition and cytokine produced by T cells, thus enhancing the antigen presentation of helper, helper cells. Interferon gamma can also increase the expression of MHC molecules on vesicular endothelial cells and other non-immune cell types. The role of these cells in antigen presentation T lymphocytes is unclear, and as mentioned earlier, some cells such as neurons never appear to express the class 2 MHC molecules after, after activation human but not mouse T cell expresses class 2 MHC molecules. However, no cytokine have been identified in, 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 in this response on its function of and, and its function is significantly unknown. The amount of transcription is, is the major determinant of the level of MHC molecule synthesis and expression in the cell surface. Cytokine enhance MHC expression by stimulating the transcription of class 1 and the class 2 gene in the wide variety of cell types. This effect are mediated by binding of cytokine activating transcription factor to DNA sequence in the in the promoter region of MC gene. Cerebral transcription factor may be assembled and bind protein called class 2 transcription activator, CETA, and the entire complex binds the class 2 promoter and promote the efficient transcription of gene. By keeping the complex of transcription factor together, CT function as master regulator of class 2 uh, gene expression. Mutation of CT uh, or as associated transcription factor that have been identified as the cause of human immunodeficiency diseases associated with the def defective expression of MC molecule. The best study of this disorder is the Bayer Bayer lymphocyte syndrome. Knockout mice lacking CT has reduced or absent of class 2 expression of the dendritic cell and B lymphocyte and inability of interferon to induce class 2 and all cell types. The expression of many of many of the protein involved in antigen presenting present, processing and presentation is coordinately regulated. For instance, interferon increases the transcription not only of class 1 and class 2 gene but also several genes whose products are required for class 1 MHC assembly and peptide display, such as gene encoding for transporter associated with the antigen processing, TAP, and some of the subunit of proteas discussed later in this chapter. In addition, transcription regression or transcription regression, the level of class 2 MHC expression is controlled by the level of ubiquitination dependent degradation discussed later in the context of antigen processing. Structure of MHC molecule. Biochemically, studies of uh, MHC molecule culminated in a solution of crystal structure for extracellular portion of human class 1 and class 2 MHC molecules. Subsequently, many MHC molecules with bond peptide have been crystallized and analyzed in detail. Because these advances we know now Understand how MHC molecule bind and display to peptide. This in the in this section, we first summarize the 
uh, summarize the functional functional important biochemical features that are common in class 1 and class 2 molecule. We'll then describe the structure of class 1 and class 2 protein, pointing out, out the, their main similarity and difference. The general properties, the general properties of MHC, MHC molecule. All MHC molecules share certain structural characteristics that are critical for their role in peptide display and antigen recognition by T lymphocyte. Each MHC molecule consists of an extracellular peptide binding uh, cleft, followed by an immunoglobulin, like a domain, and transmembrane uh, and cytoplasmic domain. Class 1 MHC molecules are composed of the one pep polypeptide chain encoded, by, encoded in uh, MHC and the second non-MHC encoded chain, whereas class 2 molecules are made up of up of two MHC encoded peptide chain. Despite this difference, the overall three-dimensional structure of class one and class two molecules are similar. So features uh, of class one and class two major stochopatically complex features, uh, class of MHC, class, class one MHC, class two MHC. Polypeptide chains, then class one is alpha and beta microglobulin, and class two is uh, alpha and beta alone. Location of polymorphic res uh, residue, uh, class one, uh, for class one is alpha one, alpha two domain, and class two is beta, it is greater than alpha one domain. Uh, binding site to T cell receptor, uh, class one, CD bind mainly to alpha three domain, and uh, CD four bind to a pocket, Created by part of alpha two and beta beta two domain. The size of peptide binding accommodates peptide of eight to eleven residue. This is class one. Class two accommodate the peptide of ten to thirty residue or more. Nomenclature: human. Uh, it's HLA one, HLA B, HLA C. Uh, for uh, a CD, a class 2 MHC, we have HLA DRA, HLA DQ, HLA DP. Mouth, it is H2K, H2D, H2L. And uh, uh, in uh, class 2 is II, IA, and IE. So the polymorphic amino acid residue of um, major histocompatibility mo molecules uh, are located in major histocompatibility complex molecules are located in and adjacent to the peptide binding cleft. This cleft, also called a groove, is formed by a folding of amino uh, terminals of MHC coded protein and is composed of paired or paired alpha helixes forming two walls of the cleft resting on the floor made up of the eight standard beta uh, pleated sheet. The polymorphic residue, which are the amino acids that vary among different MHC allele, are located in the, in the floor and wall of this cleft. This portion of MHC molecule bind peptide to display to T cell, and the, uh, the antigen uh, receptor of T cell interact with displayed peptide and also with the health cells of MHC molecules. Because amino acid variability in this region, because of amino acid variability in this region, different MHC molecules bind and display different peptide and are recognized by antigen receptor of different T cell. None of polymorphic Ig like domain of class two and uh, class one MHC molecule contain binding site for T cell molecules CD4 and CD8 respectively. A CD4 and CD8 are expressed on the distinct subpopulation of mature T lymphocyte and participate together with the antigen uh, uh, receptor in response to peptide MHC complex. For this reason, CD4 and CD8 are called T cell receptor. CD4 binds selectively to class 2 molecule, class 2 uh, uh, MHC molecule. And CD8 bind class to, uh, to class 1 MHC molecules. CD4 
helper T cell recognize class 2 MOC molecule displaying peptide, whereas CD8 T cell recognize class 1 molecule with, with, bo with bone peptide started differently. CD4 T cells are class 2 molecule restricted and CD T cell are class 1 molecule restri uh, restricted. Class 1 MHC molecule. Class 1 MHC molecules consist of two non covalent linked triple peptide chain and the uh, MHC uh, encoded 44 to 45 Clodalton alpha chain, a heavy, a heavy chain, and non uh, MHC encoded 12 Clodalton subunit called beta microglobulin. Although three quarter of the chain of the chain pop polypeptide in extracellular, a short hydrophobic key segment span the, sp the span the, plas the, the plasma membrane and carboxyl terminal residue are located in the cytoplasm. The amino acid terminal alpha, alpha and beta segment of, of the chain, each approximately nine residue long, interact with form of a platform on eight stranded antiparallel beta pleated sheet supporting the two parallel strands of helix. This form of peptide binding cleft class 1 MHC molecule, its size is large enough. This is approximately 20A uh, times 10A plus 11A to bind peptide of 8 to 11 acid, uh, amino acid in flexible extended conformation. The end of class 1 peptide binding cleft are closed so that the larger peptide cannot be accommodated. Therefore, native globulin protein have been converted into a fragment that are small enough uh, in a extended linear shape so that so they can bind to MHC molecule and they be recognized by T cell. The polymorphic residue of class 1 MHC molecules are confined to alpha 1, alpha 2 domain where they contribute to variation among different class 1 uh, allele in the peptide binding and T cell recognition. The alpha 3 segment of, um, of the alpha chain fold in, into an, fold into an Ig domain whose amino acid sequence is conserved among all class 1 MHC molecule. This segment contains most of the binding of site for CDH but beta 2 microglobulin and a small part of non polymorphic C terminal portion of the alpha 2 domains also contribute. At the carboxy terminal end of alpha 3 segment is the stretch of approximately 25 hydrophobic amino acid that transverse the lipid by layer of the plasma membrane immediately after this an approximately 30 residue locked in cytoplasm which include a cluster of basic amino acid that interact with phospholipid head group of inner lifted of the of lipid by layer and anchor MHC molecule in plasma membrane. Beta 2 microglobulin the light chain of class 1 MHC molecule is encoded by gene outside the MHC and is named for its electro electrophoretic mobility. Beta 2 small size micro and solubility globulin it interacting non conventionally with the alpha 3 domain of the chain like alpha 2 3 alpha 3 segment beta microglobulin is structurally homologous to ig domain and is invariant and it is invariant among all class 1 molecules the structure class 1 uh, major compatibility complex the schematic diagram is such the different type of uh, different region so this is the peptide binding, this has cleft, you see the peptide, the sulfide bond, you see them, and um, this one, and you see the transparency. <coughs> Sorry. The full assembly Assembled class 1 MHC molecule is trimeric complex consisting of an alpha chain and beta 2 microglobulin and bond peptide. Stable expression of class 1 MHC molecule on cell surface require presence of all three components of complex.
The reason for this is that the interaction of alpha chain with beta 2 microglobulin is stabilized by binding of a peptide antigen to the cleft formed by alpha 1 and alpha 2 segment. And conversely, the binding of peptide is strengthened by the interaction of beta, beta 2 microglobulin with the with the alpha chain. Because peptides are needed for st to stabilize the MSC molecule and unstable complex are degraded, only potentially useful peptide loaded MSC molecules are expressed on the cell surface. Most individuals are heterozygous for MSC gene and therefore expresses six different classes one MSC molecule and on every cell containing alpha chain encoded by two inherited allele HLA1 HLA, HLB, HLC genes. For class 2 MHC molecule, class 2 MHC molecule are composed of two non-covalently associated polypeptide chain, a 33, a 32 to 34 kilodalton alpha chain and a 29 to 32 kilodalton beta chain. Unlike class 1 MHC molecule, the gene encoding both chain of class 2 MHC molecule are Polymorphic located and located in MHC locus. The amino terminal alpha 1 and beta 1 segment of class 2 chains interact to form the peptide binding cleft, which is structurally similar to the cleft of class 1 molecule. Four strand, strands of the floor of the cleft and one of the alpha helical walls are formed by alpha 1 segment and the other four strand of floor of the floor and the second wall are formed by beta segment beta 1 segment the polymorphic residue are located in alpha 1 and beta 1 segment in and around the peptide binding cleft as in class 1 molecules in human in human class 2 mnc molecule most most of the polymorphism is in beta chain and the end of the peptide of the peptide binding cleft of class 2 molecules are open so so the peptide of 10 to 30 residue can bind. The alpha and beta segment of class 2 MSC molecule like uh, class 1 alpha uh, alpha 3 and beta 2 microglobulin are folded into Ig domain and are normal and non-polymorphic that is the uh, they do not vary among allele of a particular class um, two genes. Both alpha two and beta two domain of class two MSC molecule contribute to the convenient that accommodate a protrusion of a CD4 protein, thus allowing bind binding to occur. Carboxyl terminal ends of the alpha two alpha, alpha uh, beta two segment continue into short connecting region followed by approximately 25 amino acid stretches of hydrophilic transmembrane residue. In both chain, the transmembrane region end with cluster of basic amino acid residue, followed by short hydrophilic, hydrophilic cytoplasmic tail. The full assembled class 2 MHC molecule is a trimer consisting of one chain, a one beta chain, one alpha chain, one beta chain, and alpha bond antigenic peptide and stable expression of class 2 molecules on cell surface require presence of all three components of the complex. As in class 1, MSC molecules, this ensure that MSC molecules that end up on the cell surface are the molecules that are carrying out their normal function of the paper display. Human inherit from each parent one DPA and one DPB genes encoding respectively the alpha and beta chains of HLIDP molecule. One functional DQA and one functional DQB gene, one DRA A and one or two functional DRA B gene. Thus each heterozygous individual expresses six to eight pairs of class two MHC alpha and beta chain molecule one set each of the D P and DQ and one or two DR. Typically, there is not much pairing of MHC protein from different lock DR alpha with DR 
the Q, B, and so on. Each of haplotype tend to be inherited as single unit. However, because some haplotypes contain extra DRP lock that produce beta chain that assemble the DR alpha and some DR alpha molecule encoded on the chromosomes can be associated with the DQ B beta molecules produced from other chromosomes. The total number of expressed class 2 molecules on the cell of the same individual may be more than 8. Binding of peptide to MHC molecule. After the demonstration that immunogenicity of protein depend on the ability of their peptide to be displayed by MHC molecules, considerable effort have been devoted to elucidating the molecular basis of peptide MHC interaction and characterized characteristics of peptide that allow them to bind to MHC molecule. These studies initially relied on functional assay of helper T cell and cytotoxic, uh, lympho uh, cytotoxic lymphocyte cells responding to antigen presenting cells that were incubated with different peptides. Direct binding of MHC molecules and, and peptide has been studied with purified MHC molecules and radioactively on the fluorescently labeled peptide in solution using the method such as equilibrium dialysis and jelly filtration. X-ray crystallographic analysis of peptide MHC complex has provided definitive information about how peptide sit in the cleft of MHC molecule and about the residue of each part participate in binding. This information has been used to generate computer algorithms that can predict the peptide of any given protein that are more uh, most likely to bind to MHC molecule. This information can theoretically be used to develop vaccines specific for microbial protein or mutated tumor protein seen in chapter 18. In the section that follows, we will summarize the key features of interaction between peptide and class 1 or class 2 molecules. So these are pictures, you can have a look at it. And uh, this one was taken from Fundamental Immunology, 6th edition of Limpincott. Limpincott always they're good in drawing. So structure of class 2 measures to compatibility, you see. Yeah, schematic diagram, the disulfide bond, and the structure, the groove, where peptide goes. So, it's protein. Characteristics of peptide MHC molecule interaction. MHC molecule shows a broad specificity for peptide binding in contrast to the final specificity of antigen recognition by antigen receptor of lymphocyte. In other words, a single MHC allele, e.g. HLA, HLA A2 can present any one of many different peptide T cell, but a single T cell will recognize only one of these many possible HLA2 peptide complex. There are several important features of interaction of MHC molecular and antigenic peptide. One, each class one and class two MHC molecule has a single peptide cleft that bind one peptide at a time, but each MHC molecule can bind many different peptides. One of the earlier, earliest lines of evidence supporting this conclusion was the experimental result that different peptides that bind to the same MHC molecule can competitively inhibit one another presentation implying that there is only one single peptide binding cleft in every MHC molecule. The solution of the crystal uh, structure of class 1 and class 2 molecules confirm, confirmed the presence of single peptide binding cleft in these molecules. It is not surprising that single MHC molecule can bind multiple peptides because each individual contains only few different MHC molecules, six class one and eight or few more class two molecules in heterozygous individual. And this must be able to present a peptide from enormous number of protein antigen that one is likely to encounter. 
the peptide that bind to MHC, that's two, characteristic number two, MHC, the peptide that bind to MHC uh, molecule share a structural feature that promotes this interaction. One of these features is the size of peptide. Class one MHC molecule can accommodate peptide that are eight to uh, 11 residue long and class two molecule binded peptide that are more maybe between 10 to 30 residue long, even longer and the optimal lens for fitting into the class 2 MOC cleft being 12 to 16 residue. In addition, peptide that bind to a particular MOC molecule contain amino acid residue that allow complementary interaction between the peptide and that of MOC molecule. Some of, of the amino acid residue that promote binding to MOC molecule are described later. When we discuss the structural basis of peptide MOC interaction, the residue of the peptide that bind to MHC molecule are distinct from those that are recognized by T cell. MHC molecule acquire their peptide cargo during their biosynthesis and assembly insert cell. Therefore, MHC molecule display peptide derived from microbial antigen that are inside the host cell. And this is why MHC restricted T cell are able to recognize microbes that in infect or are ingested into cell. The mechanism and significance of this process are discussed later in this chapter. The association of peptide and MHC molecule is, sat is saturable interaction with a very slow off rate. In cells, several chaperones and enzymes facilitate the binding uh, peptide to MHC molecule described later. Once formed, most peptide MHC complex are stable and kinetic dissociation constant are indicate, indicative of long half-life that range from hours to many days. This extraordinary slow off rate of peptide dissociation from MHC molecule ensure that after MHC molecule has acquired the peptide, it will display the peptide long enough to maximize the chance that a particular T cell will find the peptide it can recognize and in initiate response. Very small number of peptide MHC complex are capable of activating specific T lymphocytes. Because uh, antigen presenting continuously present peptide derived from all the protein they encounter, only very small fraction of cell surface for peptide MHC complex will contain the same peptide. It has been estimated that fewer as 100 complex of pe particular peptide with a class 2 molecule on the surface of antigen presenting cell can initiate specific T response. This represents less than 0.1% of the total number of the class 2 molecule likely to, pre to present on surface of antigen presenting cell. MHC molecules of individual can bind and display foreign peptide, e.g. those derived from microbial protein, and peptide derived from the protein of that individual self-antigen. In fact, most of the peptide being displayed normally by antigen presenting cell are derived from self protein. The inability of MHC molecule to discriminate between self and foreign peptide raises the question of why we normally do not develop immune response against self protein. The answer is that self peptide MHC complex do not induce autoimmune because T cells specific for such complexes are killed or inactivated. In fact, T cell with the receptor for self antigen must recognize self peptide displayed by self MOC molecule in order to eliminate or med and response. This process ensures that T cells are normally tolerant to self antigen. Structural basis of peptide binding to MOC molecule. The, bi the, the binding of peptide to MOC molecule is non covalent interaction mediated by residue both in the peptide and in the cleft of MHC molecule. As we will discuss later, protein antigen are proteolytically cleaved in antigen presenting to generate the peptide that will be bound, will be bound and displayed by MHC molecule. These peptide bind to the cleft of MHC molecule. These peptide bind to the cleft of MHC molecule in an extended conformation. Once bound, the peptide and the associated water molecule fill the cleft, making the extensive con contact with the amino acid residue from beta strand of the floor and alpha helix of the wall of the cleft. 
In most M we see more like the, be the better strand in the floor of the cleft contain pocket where side chain of amino acid residue peptide bind. Many of class 1 molecules have a hydrophobic pocket that recognizes one of the following hydrophobic amino acid valine, isoleucine, leucine, and methionines at the C terminal end of the peptide. Some class 1 molecules have predilection of the peptide with basic residue, rice, leucines, and agnine at C terminals. In addition, other amino acid residues uh, of the peptide may contain side chain that fit into the specific pocket and bind to the complementary amino acid in the MSC molecule through electrostatic interaction, salt bridge, hydrogen bonding, and van der Waals wall interaction. The residue of the peptide that fit into the MSC pocket are called anchor residue because they contribute most, most to the binding or anchoring of the peptide in the cleft of MSC molecule. Each MSC binding peptide, res, uh, peptide usually contain only one or two anchor residue and uh, uh, presumably allow greater variability in the other residue of the peptide, which are the residue that are recognized by specific T cell. In, in the case of some peptide being Binding to MUC molecules, especially class 2 molecules, specific interaction of peptide with alpha helicoside of MUC cleft also contribute to peptide binding by forming a hydrogen bond or change interaction. Class 2 MUC molecules accommodate larger peptide than class 1 molecules. These longer peptides extend at either end beyond the, the floor of cleft because many of residue in and around the peptide binding binding cleft of MHC molecular polymorphism, they differ among various MHC allele. Different allele favor the binding of different peptides. This is the structural basis of functional MHC genes as immune response genes. Only individual whose MHC molecule can bind to a particular peptide and display it to T cell can respond to the peptide. The antigenic key receptor of T cell recognizes both antigenic peptide and MSC molecule, with the peptide being responsible for fine specificity of antigen recognition and MSC residue accounting for MSC restriction of the T cell. A portion of the bound peptide is exposed from the open top of the cleft of MSC molecule, and amino acid a chain of this portion of the peptide are recognized by antigen receptor of the peptide T cell. The same T cell receptor also interact with polymorphism residue of the helicos of the MSC molecules itself. Predictably, predictably, variation in either the peptide antigen or peptide binding cleft on the MSC molecule will alter the presentation of the peptide and, or its recognition by T cell. So, because MSC molecule can bind only linear peptide, but microbial and other protein antigen are larger molecule in various folded conformation, there must be mechanism by which these protein are converted into peptide that can bind to MSC molecule. The mechanism is called antigen processing, and it is the focus of the remainder of the chapter that will be discussed later. So currently, let us end up here. Uh, I think we had a very nice discussion. Wish you all the best and uh, we will continue.